Yeah. So as we discussed uh, yesterday, hope I'm audible, right? Every component which we implement that need to be tested before moving it for deployment. Testing not from the end-to-end -end manual. Instead of that, as a developer, we should be able to test it by using JUnit test cases also on the classes which are implemented. So during testing, if we use a Mockito framework, right, that will allow or enables you to make your independent class as independent for the testing. So let's say controller class is having services dependencies. You can mock service and you can test all controller methods. So wherever you have service calls, that service calls will be bypassed via mock. Same way, if service is having any other APIs calls, that particular call we can mock and we can avoid that call. So when we put mocks in the test, it will avoid the integrations calls. It will allow you to test whatever code you have implemented apart from the calling other methods. Usually a method in general while implementing a business use case, you might have a lot of lines, a lot of plus minus operations, uh, stuff, logical stuff you might have apart from calling other methods and passing the data. So all that lines we should be able to test it so that your code finally when you move to SIT or productions while doing build right it will check how much code that you have tested if your testing is passed almost 80 to 90 percent then the builds will allow your code for the build and execution so i'll show you how to you know run and how to check the code coverage also Yesterday we failed due to no JUnit tool here. Now that the tool is added, coverage also you can see here. So a simple test case implemented. Let me clear the coverage. Yeah. So I wanted to test to my service class. So whichever class you want to test. On top of that class, you can put inject mocks. So I can start testing my product service, whichever methods you have. So you have uh, create method, update method, delete, select, find by ID, find by find all products. You have multiple methods there. So each method you can call and whatever statements you have. Here you can test it. Let's say for timing, if I put something as OP, just to show your code coverage how it is. Exactly. So, whatever lines we have written here across, that lines need to be tested. Just dummy lines I'm putting. So as soon as I call, as soon as I call my product service create method by giving some data as an input, when I call this method straight away, this request will go to your product service. In general, if you test with the J units, and it will pass the input here. This input will go to this line. It will execute this line, this line, this line, and finally. It will reach to this return. In return, first it will see very you know a first code that need to be executed. So report or save need to be executed by giving this input. But if it execute this line, what will happen? Your data will go and sit it into database. It will insert and save it into database. I don't want to do that. From here, whatever calls I have, I want to bypass them. If I have calls to some XYZ class, some XYZ repo class, some XYZ service class or some XYZ utility classes, 
I don't want to execute them. Only my code, pure code, whichever I implemented here. And the dependency codes I want to bypass. So how I can bypass here? Whichever code you want to bypass, that object you need to inject as a mock. So first you need to create your repository object as a mock. So one mock object will be created. This mock object will be injected into this product service. Because in product service you have auto wiring, right? Constructor based auto wiring we have. We mentioned all argument constructors. So this argument will be injected. Spring will take care of it. As you mentioned, inject mocks. Whatever dependencies we have, that dependency as a mock it is available here. This mock object it will take it into this class. Now what you need to do next? When I call this create product method, I want to bypass this call. Which call? This call. If I bypass it, at least on this place I need to pass some test output. So when this line reaches during execution, you need to suggest rather than executing this put a some dummy output and return it that you need to suggest how you can do that here i am creating using mock to object mock to when i am saying to test class when you reaches to repository save method with any product object return this dummy object p so this is the product object that i have created i am saying when somebody try to reaches this line return product this product whichever i created so we are indirectly saying while executing if you reach to repository.save method I return this object so as soon as when i executed this product service create product method it will go the here it will execute this line this line this line this line and when it reaches to this return here it will find the code product report or say and this product repo object which is injected here is not an original repository object to do the same. It is a mock object which is injected. So test will understand that okay. Instead of I execute save method, whatever developer suggested a mock object that I need to return. So this P will be replaced here. So whatever product you are sending from there, right? That P will be replaced here. And it will be returned back to user. So let's see line by line how it will execute. Let me put it into debug mode, debug as JUnit. Each method you can test, just right click on the method and run as JUnit instead of run as main method, right? Just to run as JUnit. Oh, we executed it. Debug, if I run, I can see. Okay. There are two test cases. Both test cases passed. So all runs are two. Failures are zero. Errors are zero. Failures are zero. And full green. If something fails, you can see red here. Instead of blue. Okay, let me run it in debug mode. Debug as J unit. J units also you can debug. So now it is running in a debug mode. Create product test method and running. Debug mode taking a little bit time. Let's wait. Okay, now it came here. Go to next line. We created simple product object. This object is ready. And product repo, a mock object is created, right? Mock it or interceptor created this, a mock object. 
This is not actual repository which is created by using JPA repository. Not that one. A dummy object. We are saying wherever you find this dummy object dot save method with any product object as input, ask him to return it. So this line executed, which means we give an instruction. This will work as an instruction for this method execution. Now your execution will go inside this method. Here it will come. Okay, the request came here with the given product object. And here you see product repo is a market object, not a usual repository object. And when I execute it, up to this line not yet reached, but you can inspect it. Just inspect the statement and see. It is returning it. Inspect means it will execute and give an object. It is returning a product object when I inspect with the product name icon. How I didn't even reach to this line. My object is product object not even reached here. But why it is giving? So already we instructed when there is a save method, don't execute it. Give my dummy result that we said. So when I try to run the statements it will reach out here confidently it will return an object to you it will return an object to you okay so that method is completed it went to next method okay so come finally my test case is executed so in this scenario in this first scenario we got finally a product object and we are just verifying it. Given input object and finally output object are having same name. It is saying yes, true. So your test case is passed. Okay. Then how to check the coverage? I implemented only for two methods. Just as like JUnit, you go to code coverage as option. You have an option here, JUnit. So when you run that, coverage tool will execute this test methods and it will analyze how many classes you have throughout your application and how many classes you tested and it will calculate percentage, how much percentage of code you tested. See, now after running that, open each class which you have implemented. It will, if it shows green line, which means your test case is executed, that green line. Red lines are not executed. So this red line is not executed, so not tested. Basically, main method is not required. If you go to exception class, exception class not at all executed, not tested. Global exception handler class, this object might be created, but this code is not executed because you did not produce any exception. Okay, video is getting noise. Let me just a minute. Just a minute, please. Am I audible now? Yes, am I audible? Okay. So, whichever code you see that is not covered because there is no exception scenario we executed, so it is not covered. Go to model. So, model also not tested. Model also we have to test. And uh, going back to repo class. Repo, as we don't have any implementation here, we are safe. We need not to test them. And uh, controller class not tested. 
it is showing all methods are right so only class that we have tested is product service and that too if you see right in product service we can see this five lines code is covered green color here in this update method also we executed this and we given a dummy object mock object so it is returning it you need to write one more test case negative test case without uh, uh, object i mean without find by find by id i actually i mocked when there is a find by method call i ask you to return a dummy object so that's why it is coming here up to if block is present is checking and executing it and you can see one more thing this line is executed still it is showing in if, if showing in yellow color means always if will have two scenarios if pass if fail if pass scenario we executed so it is executed here if failure also we need to test so one of two branches missed just it is saying actually there are two scenarios one scenario we are missing so in one scenario we covered up to here in other scenario we need to cover this one as well so then it will come into the view other method if you see red 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 they are not covered and the percentage if you see up to up to 300 uh, 30% is covered total instructions are 716 instructions out of it 217 only we covered it very less so we need to cover as an application right application should have coverage of at least you know 80 to 90 percent that will be decided by team okay so for some projects we used to consider 75 is okay or 80 is okay 90 is okay in some projects people are not are, don't want to use test cases they don't even worry about it directly they do manual testing and deploy it okay but nowadays it became common practice okay your jenkins tools and all will verify okay as a standard up to 75 or 80 percent they will configure so your code coverage should reach up to there that means your code is a good code a, a tested code that you are sending okay so see little more uh, negative scenario also we will write here update product case also if you see i created a product object and i'm calling mockito.find and mocking it when there is a find by method i am saying mock it and i'm i'm showing save method also mock it in update we have guys am i audible between did i last hello yeah cool so so in update method there are two repository calls find by repository call also there and uh, save method also call it. so that two mocks i did here i'm saying while execution you will find two repository methods find by method and save method let's mock them so mocking it so when somebody reaches to you with uh, a long object long means product id find by id input is long so i'm saying mock it or any of long when somebody reached out with the id instead of you go and execute a repository just to return return my object option object which option object product object so this product object i'm asking to return it it will say okay it will return it when update method execution started right it will return the object which are you mocked and you will execute this line this line this line and uh, optional is present will do what if object is there without null it will say true so then it will go here. so as a true statement it will go there and it will execute it so finally i'll be getting a product object just comparing the same product names are equal or not so it is executing it now to improve it more other test case also to cover right you may write update one more test case update product exception scenario exception scenario 
So same test case exception scenario. In exception scenario, what will happen? When you try to execute find by ID method, I will return null instead of this object, right? Product object. I'll just put null here. Null, optional of null. Means during this uh, update method execution, right? Find by ID method will return null. Optional of null. So when it reaches to this A, it will see that E is present, will return false. So as soon as it returns false, it will go to this statement and it will throw null uh, product not found exception. That is what I am expecting. Negative scenario. So as soon as it rises the exception, I think uh, for exception, I think we put some exception here. Uh, test of exception. Okay, I will see. Exception scenario. Scenarios. I do remember annotation something else to put. Mojito exception test. We need not to assert it actually. Uh, test expected. So our exception name we should give it. Okay. Test. This attribute itself is not allowed. Exception. Or any other way around let's see I said that thrown by my service thrown by do we have Just we will be using that uh, at the rate. Okay. Uh, the answer is your second question. If you are using JMO4, you can. Which is unacceptable for case when you are testing nothing in the object. Let me execute it. Just assert. I'll just keep asset uh, 1 equal to 1. My expectation is I just want to I just want to cover that code. Okay. Usually here we will have expected that let me put and comment it. I think J on it uh, dependency something missing or we are using older version or newer version. Okay. Let me keep it. So when I call update product method, see what will happen. When I execute the scenario, J O right. Will pass or fail or oh, it failed. Why this method is impacted? Mm -hmm. 
but what happened here is malfunction. This is unusual for meetings. Hmm. These two methods are executing. This is how actually we need to cover exception scenario also. So when there is an exception, actually I given null. So uh, is it uh, because of that null when it entered to service method update, it contains null. If it contains null. Uh, even this line will not execute, so I need not to mock it. This statement is not required. Bus up to here is enough. Try to run it. Usually, to run single method, we need to select it and run it. Hmm. What is now null pointer or output optional for service application test? One is throwing optional of null. Is it throwing it? I need to return null object if any cost. If I don't mock it, Okay, what is happening? Product to not found exception. Okay, so exception is executing actually, but uh, we need to add this product to not found exception here in this annotation. Uh, at the rate test is uh, this one. Okay. okay, let me check. Not allowed. Let's type third exception. Achha, that was in JUnit 4. Now we upgrade it. So it is not throwing. Asset to throws method we need to use and then asset to throws exception class and actually your object I didn't get it there. Okay, let's uh, do this. I set the throws.
Jupiter 5 is it available? It is using J unit Jupiter only. Is it limited? Import. This assertion is not available. Catch Grover available. It was simple before. Not tested. Go through. Equals will not work, but the core coverage. If I run, this is not going to work. It's okay. Maybe you can upgrade to J unit 4 and test it. Okay, this scenario will throw it. And if I test the code coverage without it is working, will it cover or not? We will see. Coverage. With two tested and one is not tested. 34 again means it is not covering this. it is covered yeah you can see now it is in complete green though the test is not executed up to this code it is reached earlier it was in green now it is showing see diamond green all two branches covered so this if covered if not also covered Okay, just to handle that exception, maybe add throw something should be available. Check it, okay. So that's how we can handle negative scenarios also. This method is not executed, even your J unit issue has not come. Okay, so you may test with other methods and see, try to execute this code coverage. Okay, usually it should be 80 to 90 percent. Try to apply this for controller and service and for your utility classes whichever classes you have for bean classes also write simple test case and try to execute bean usually bean is not having anything right setters and getters you set all the uh, values into it 
button just get apply get and it will be covered okay so that's it i think uh, okay maybe yeah just uh, just go through it i'll share this example okay we covered the uh, j unit and we covered the uh, code quality checking in the last session if you remember so these are the final steps that we perform in the once we done with our coding right we used to put j units and we used to do code quality then we commit the code okay tomorrow we'll, we'll see if uh, everything goes well i'll show you uh bit bucket one okay so git code pull code commits okay code merges we'll see the strategies tomorrow we discussed it before but yeah, practically we will see yeah